Alright guys, welcome to the factory blueprints on how to create the Sword of Frozen Fate. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to get this blueprint because I'm going to have a guide up specifically designed to it. Because this is one of the seven, uh, one of the seven star swords that you can get throughout the course of the game. Uh, the seven star swords are like the, um, uh, the sword we get at the very beginning of the game from Desert Claw. I can't remember what's called top of my head. Desert Seeker, there we go. It's like that. It's very powerful. You need to go through a little side quest to get it. So, I will have a link, if I remember to, up, show, take you directly to that video to show how to get it. And I'll have a link in that video leading to this, showing how to make it. If it's not in the video itself, check the description, it'll tell you how to get it. Okay, now first and foremost, we need the list of these items. As they say, as they show here, they don't know how to do it. They don't, they don't tell you a bloody thing on how to make this sword. Outside of you need this number of some sort of metal and these stones. So, I'm going to tell you what you need. First and foremost, you need 15 Revola Alloy. You need uh, 4 Ezeriums, 3 Seventh Moons, and 1 Edensea. The Edensea is pretty annoying to get because you can only start getting it in greater numbers near the end of the game. However, I did luck out and I did get one while I was inside the uh, Ruins of the Leo King. I can't remember if it was in a chest or if a monster dropped it, but go through there, hunt down every monster you can, it's probably inside of a chest, save it for this purpose. Uh, later on you can actually find it for sale in numerous shops, um, one of which I believe actually sells an infinite number of these, so if you can't get it now, early in the game, get it later. I recommend making this near the middle of the game if you have the Encia, if not, wait to the end of the game. Anywho. This is probably going to be the most annoying one to make, because it requires just so much. So over here, we have the Revoa Alloy and the Ezerium. Now I have it set up to where each of these materials, the smelter, the form press, and the pipes equal up to 10 points of movement, and then 17 including the assembler. So that's pretty, pretty simple how to do, the biggest problem you're going to have is the cables. Um, the cables are really annoying because you don't have an endless supply of them. You can run out, which I did have have happened to me when I first tried to make this blueprint out. So try to use as little uh, cables usage as you can. This is all you really need to know for the metal portion. Over here in the stones, very straightforward. The um, grinder only has five spots, so I used five pipes, ten, ten in total which goes up to 17, and then we have the five pipe or four pipes here that lead to the nether assembler too. So make sure everything's set up. It's all fairly simple and straightforward to, play, to plan out. It's just those bloody cords that get in the way. But let's see if we got it. So run. All right, so far so good. Metal's made, pressed. Gems are ground down. We got the metal set up. All right, fusion nicely. Wunderba. And now the mixture. And we got it. Pretty simplistic, really. It's just those bloody cables that get annoying. And we got the Ixion Sword of Frozen Fate. It's a pretty good sword, so. Make sure you level it up. Let's go check it out. The inventory. And there it is. It's level 18 at the very beginning. Decent attacks for a level 18 sword, honestly. Good bit. Let's take a look at it. Nice. Now, if you want to level up this sword, you need to do very specific things as well. Like every sword, it can be leveled up by uh, three different forms. It has three three forms, I should say. So, oh, well, yeah, yeah three forms, four oh, total. So, in order to get Ixion 2, you need to fuse it with a level 26 weapon at the least. Anything higher than that will still work. Ixion level 2 needs to be fused with level 33 to get Ixion 3. And to get the final form, Guard Axis, Axis you need a level 42 Let's weapon. Get going. That's all you need to do to create this wonderful, wonderful sword. And to master it. Now, I don't remember if this sword is stronger than Desert Seeker when it's as the Earthshaker form, but it is still powerful regardless. You can only get this weapon in Chapter 8. 
Anyway, feel free to check out the other video on how to find this, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope this was helpful to you, because this one's annoying as all hell. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Till then, have a wonderful day. Bye.